right, so a quick round of maintenance for, for the gym ladder. Prices are crazy, so both break the, the, uh, steering, the steering things, then you, you have lights, uh, car plugs, we have um, oil filter, filter, the air filter, we have both uh, brake calipers with uh, the brake pads, we have both uh, bearings, we have oil, and we have um, some more <sighs> solid. All together came under 150 quid. Yeah. I think one thing my Giga is lacking is the rear locking diff. Um, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're simply gonna weld it. Back. <laughs> So what we've done, we've changed the brake calipers, we've changed the, the brake discs, we also changed the, the steering shafts, whatever they are, because that was uh, fucked. Also I have a new exhaust because that was blowing. And apart from that, apart from the welded diff, we're ready to go drifting. The next day. So there are certain procedures I need to follow in order to register the car to my name. First, we need to all uh, a bit of a Russian MOT. So we're basically going for full full checks of the car. So let's see if the car is worthy. Just been told apparently I'm on 15 inch wheels supposed to be 13 inch and uh, they're quite strict in Russia with regards to modifications to the to the vehicle uh, you can really get done for simple things like changing your wheels to a different size um, I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes moments later very easy very quick and uneventful um, admittedly I am doing it through a friend the way the Russians do uh, just to sort of avoid the queue and uh, all the bureaucracy malarkey but obviously they knew that I was coming and um, yeah we passed so now we need to register it under my name yay of course let's go and drift a bit more <laughs> So another part of this uh, registration process is that we have to officially make the car mine. Uh, that involves another inspection. 
don't ask me why you need two inspections and then you obviously apply and they change the the little book that says your name and all that yes guys we are lucky so lucky in uk you literally just do everything online you send a little thing and the car is yours here you have to queue up I me mean, i'm not even talking about the small price you have to pay it's negligible like eight ten pounds each inspection whatever but a lot of bureaucracy so let's just hope that they'll uh, sail through 20 minutes later so that was quite uneventful to be honest with you the usual checks is basically they check your engine number and your chassis number uh, you lift up the thing no other checks again i'm doing it through a friend so maybe normal mere more mortals endure a few more extra checks but mine is probably just a formality so let's go pay 840 rubles and the car is mine theoretically i'm not even sure if they give you a new number plate maybe they do so basically all this effort to get this little laminated piece of paper and check out how they wrote my name Ilya. I hope it's not going to be an issue crossing the border because obviously it doesn't match the name in my passport but I hope let's go and drift a bit more <laughs> Попробуй, она выйдет отсюда. 